Hello television viewers, my name is Nick, and in my last toy video, we discussed some of this season's hottest toys, like Hatchimals, the toy that is apparently so cool if we see it before October, our eyes will melt out of our skulls. What is inside of that plastic egg is so revolutionary that children have never seen anything like it? And before you answer, remember that Furbies exist, as do dozens of other similar toys. Is Hatchimals really going to be smarter and more annoying than Furby? You know what, it doesn't matter. I've already pre-ordered three of them. We also discussed the Num Nums lip gloss truck, the world's most complicated way of selling chapstick, separated into four different ingredients and inconveniently packaged inside of a toy truck. Aside from that, this toy was unique on my list because it fell into that special category of toys that make stuff. This is arguably the coolest type of toy ever in the whole world, and thankfully there is no shortage of them. There are kits that let you sew some stuff, sculpt some stuff, and the Text Cool Bracelet Studio, which lets you make your very own hospital bracelet. You can create your own messages with the Text Cool Bracelet Maker. The Text Cool Bracelet Maker comes as shown. I'm a cool maker. I'm allergic to bees. I take insulin. Crafting and baking toys are especially great for advertisers because they require consumable materials that can be sold separately in the form of refill packs and add-ons, which parents must continue to buy or the toy becomes useless. You know the old saying, give a child an easy bake oven and they eat for a day. Give a child an easy bake cake mix refill pack or they will starve and it will be your fault. Refills each sold separately. I want to live inside of this commercial. You can tell these little girls to go home and just leave me to listen to this song and eat tiny pizzas. Hey, hey, check out my easy bake. Another reason advertisers love toys that make stuff is because, well, it's easy to make stuff look cool on television. But unless your child has an advanced art degree and the patience of somebody in a coma, trying to make these cute little projects will likely lead to tears, frustration, and an unfamiliar sense of confusion, like when they saw the mall Santa smoking cigarettes in the parking lot. But fear not, there's a whole YouTube channel full of helpful tips and tricks hosted by a cool babysitter type girl named Nina, who seems remarkably understanding of how stressful using a toy might be. I totally get it. Oh man, I know it looks bad, but it's totally fixable. Don't worry. Don't worry. Well, that didn't work. Nina, I have one question for you. Who does your eyebrows? They look amazing. Sure, pottery is great, but let's get real for a second. The only way to make a toy truly irresistible is by adding sugar. Who wants some ice cream? I do. I want ice cream. Advertisers want kids to feel like they're actively baking and cooking, just like grown-ups do. And the best way to do that is by inventing some unnecessary hand-cranked device that partially combines ingredients in a way that requires more time and effort than conventional stirring. Keep turning that crank, Susie. <laughs> it's really doing something. She loves it. The only food toy that doesn't fool kids into thinking that they need special equipment is Yummy Nummies. But that's not saying much, because Yummy Nummies clearly doesn't give a f what you think about them or how gross their food looks. That kind of f might fly in Japan, but I know kids who won't even touch chicken nuggets that aren't from Whole Foods. Of course, with the antiquated gender roles of the toy world, there's nothing wrong with disgusting food as long as it's intentionally gross looking and marketed to boys. We saw this with the Num Noms Grocery Gang phenomenon, also known as the Cabbage Patch Garbage Pail Effect, or in this case, the Easy Bake Queasy Bake System. Chef Queasy, coming through! <clears throat> That's nasty. This is tasty. Drip and drool dog bowls. Baked them up fresh in my queasy bake cookerator. It's too feminine to refer to a boy's toy as an oven. That's a female appliance, like the washing machine or a detachable shower head. That's why Chef Queasy only has masculine sounding things, like a cookerator or an anger problem. Mix her up! All this filthy sweaty man has done is crash dinner and make two young boys pretend to be dogs while eating out of his hands. Of course, mom's being a real stuck-up bitch about it. If she were anything like the girls on TV, she would simply take a bite of her food and make an over-the-top face of enjoyment. Eat it! Yeah! What do you think of these toys that make stuff? Are there any that didn't make the list? Also, let me know in the comments if there's any advertisements, toy or otherwise, that you'd like to see covered in Advertisements Explained. And don't forget to click that subscribe button right down there so that you never miss another installment. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time. Hey, hey, check out my easy bake.